Okay. Hi, you guys, and welcome. Ooh, girl. Uh-uh. Not lipstick on the tea. Welcome back for another vlog. It's Regina here. And today, um, I have a few things to do. So I'm going to take y'all with me. I need to go and get a shirt for work. <sighs> I have not worn a shirt with a logo on it in many, many years. Um, but yeah, your girl got a new job. Um, I'm working with a Fortune 500 company. So I'm super excited about that. I'm nervous and I'm super excited. I don't know why I'm so nervous, but um, I was at my last job for like six years and it was working for the state. So this is corporate. I'm going to miss all of my holidays. <laughs> I'm also going to miss my office, but um, I'm making more money and it has great benefits and all that good stuff, but I am going to miss my office. Um, and also, it's three days in the office and two days at home, which I love. Ultimately, ultimately my goal is to find a job working completely remote. Um, I think that's why I'm nervous about this job, because it wasn't really what I wanted. But I'm going to give it a chance when I'm still, I'm still in the game. And I'm still looking, because um, my goal is to be 100% remote. I'm just over going into the office. Um, and I feel like I can I can pretty much find a job working either accounting or payroll in the office. You don't need to be, I'm sorry, uh, if from home, you don't really need to be in the office for that. Uh, anyway, I'm about to head over here to this store and then I want to go to um, Hobby Lobby and at home to just browse, hopefully just browse. We're going to pray just browse through their <laughs> holiday decor. Y'all know how I feel about Christmas. Um, and then it's gonna, probably going to be time to pick up the kids because it's already 1230. I spent the morning shooting a lot of content for um, TikTok and Instagram, like fashion content. I was trying to shoot as much as I possibly can um, today and possibly this weekend because um, I'm going out of town on a cruise and then I start work on Monday so I know and it's gonna be a lot of learning so I know I'm not gonna have time to like really film and do all that good stuff so um that's that uh let's get the day started cuz I don't have much time um and I think I'm gonna head to get the shirt the uniform first and go out to Hobby Lobby later, I guess. I don't know. I might go out to Hobby Lobby first. Because where they sell the uniform, it's over pretty late. But y'all already know how Hobby Lobby is during the day. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Gotta get those things on the windows. <laughs> uh, for, uh, how Hobby Lobby is during the day. Oh, I might just go there. Oh, oh. That's a curb. That was a curb.
pregnant. It's a good look. <laughs> that was all I need to know. And when I walked in, it was so dang gone crowded. But I'm over here in the Marvel section because Caleb's room is Spider-Man and Christian's room is Batman. So I'm gonna try to get, I like this piece. It's $35, which isn't bad because it's a big um, art piece. But that's not even what I'm supposed to be in here for. Yeah, it's like 12 30 in the middle of the afternoon. There's so many people in the store, it's not even funny. Alright, y'all, so I kind of want to incorporate. Alright y'all, so I'm headed to the floral area. I did pick up some stuff. Uh, to see what they have. It is very crowded in the holiday area. Alright, they still have out a lot of the fall florals. Um, let me see. Oh, there's some stuff over here on my last aisle. These. I don't know why they're showing up orange, but they're red. I'm trying to think of a color to incorporate with my tree this year because it's usually very neutral. And I want to incorporate a color, but I don't know what color. I'm thinking I'm going to go with blue or maybe black. I've been feeling black a lot lately. So, so I just left Hobby Lobby. Oh my gosh. It was so freaking crowded in there. <laughs> and the lady, the cashier was like, it's been like this all day. And it's been like this all day. Um, I just, I was like, oh my gosh. And then I'm standing next to this lady. She has two small children. And her kids, one her, where her the youngest one is just boo horn crying, y'all, the whole time for like 15, 10 to 15 minutes. And you can tell it's probably her nap time and she is missing it. And she's having a meltdown. Oh, my throat. You can tell it's probably her nap time. And I say that because I have two kids. And she's in there just melting down. Bless her little heart. And so she's trying to calm the little girl down. And then she has a little boy with her. Um, it's a, maybe like four and three. And he's trying to touch stuff. He's trying to grab the candy. I was like, oh my God. I felt so bad for her. Because I've definitely been that parent. <laughs> with the kid having to melt down. The other kid asking for toys. It's just like, baby. <laughs> Oh, the overstimulation. I felt so bad for them all. But anyway, um, it's 137. Let's see. Um, I think I'm going to go to Walmart because I want to pick up some frosted, um, what do I want to pick up? Some, um, not frosted. What's it called? Flocked. Some flocked garland. So I think I'm about to go to Walmart, but y'all, it was so freaking crowded in there. The lady literally said, good luck, as I walked in the store. I was like, oh my God, seriously. And I needed it, baby, because I said, oh my gosh, it's been like this all day, and it's only Thursday? I said, I hate to see it when it's freaking Saturday. All right, we're headed to Wally World. All right, y'all, I lied. We are in Costco. Decided to go today because it's not as crowded and I forgot we don't even have toilet paper at home. Um, so, yeah. These Christmas trees have gotten ridiculous.
Just pulled up to the house Don't feel like getting out I'ma just lay back and crack this window When you can use it like an iron. That's so cool. I wonder if it's worth $50 though. This thing's kind of steep for a steamer. I don't know. It may be. So let's move it. They also have one of those, uh, what is it called? An opulence, opulence, a virtual reality game. And I think I'm gonna get one of those for, um, ooh, they got an espresso. I think I'm gonna get one of those for, uh, for, um, I'm sorry, for the family. I lost my train of thought. They look so fun. Ooh. That's like a good deal. Oh, it comes with capsules in there too. It's 32 capsules. And it's two recycling bags. And you get 40% off your coffee. That's not a bad deal at all. It's actually a really good deal. And it comes with the uh, milk frother. Saint, well, I'm out of Sam's. Um, I spent money that I should not have spent at all, so now I'm about to go and cry. Uh, I think I'm gonna try to go out to get the shirt tomorrow. My feet are killing me. Um, I did end up buying some toilet paper because I forgot we needed some. Um, they had these like silicone baking sheets that I ended up buying. And no, let me mount y'all. Hold on. Okay. All right. Ooh, okay. 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 Okay, so yeah, they had, my hand is up there because the sun is creating a weird thing. Um, I ended up getting some toilet paper. I got some pajamas for Chris, uh, Caleb. And then I got some, I got a jogging set for Christian. Um, they had Popeyes. This is like the time of the year where the Popeyes come out. And I was actually about to, I actually had grabbed a rotisserie chicken to make Popeye. And then I saw the Popeyes, and I was like, child, I'll buy it already made, just pop it in the oven. Um, and what else? I think, oh, I bought coffee as well. I think that's it. Um, but yeah, those Popeyes are so good. And the guy that was checking me out, he was like, they're so good. I said, I know, we wait for them to come out like every season. They're really, really good. Of course, they're higher, like everything in the thing on store. But yeah, I was like, you know what? Do I want to make it or do I want to just pop it in the oven? I'm paying for the convenience at this point. Like, I don't feel like cooking. I'm just gonna pop that crap in the oven, child. Um, yeah, I think that's it. Uh, I, oh my god, I need to go to Walmart. Oh, I also got me something to eat because I realized it's like 2 o'clock and I have not eaten anything. I only had something to drink and that was Pepsi. Um, I'm trying to figure out how my feet feel, y'all. Yeah, I'm gonna go to at home. I don't think I'm gonna go to Walmart. I think I'm gonna go to at home real quick. Yeah.
I just lied. I forgot. I have food in my red car, the back of my car. And it's way too hot for me to be riding around with this Popeye. So, yeah, your girl gonna have to go home. I might come back out later and go to at home. Um, and I might take bring my nine rolls since he loves that store too. But, yeah, I forgot I had this damn Popeye. Child, I was gonna be all the way at home and realizing I had that Popeye in the back of my car. But yeah, let me go home and, and drop this food off. And then um, I'll probably just head back out after um, after rush hour is over. Alright y'all, so I wanted to show you really quickly what I ended up purchasing from Costco and uh, Hobby Lobby. So, I, I got these pastry mats that you can bake on and um, bake and roll out dough. So, you can do like saute vegetables and all kind of stuff chocolate covered strawberries cookies so i thought this was a good buy i think these were like 12 or 13 dollars so i ended up picking up these um uh, because we do bake a lot like my husband buy like cookie dough and stuff like that so this is better than constantly using like aluminum foil um also they had this i picked up this for christian it's the puma jogging sets the sweatshirt i think was 19.99 and then they had the sweatpants that were 15.99 i actually picked it up for christian I'm like oh i might i might rock this myself honestly this was in the men's section okay but he said he wanted a black one so i might keep this one and go back and get him a black one uh, I also picked up this four set of pajamas for Caleb. With the little, look at them. It's so cute. Um, it's a short set and then it's also pants. It's a shirt and pants and then it's a short sleeve shirt and shorts. All right, I've been loving. So I picked up these from Hobby Lobby. They were $4.99 and all their Christmas stuff was 60% off, which is why it was so freaking busy in that store. Um, but yeah, I picked up these. I picked up four of these. And then I also picked up uh, five of these. And then I was at checkout and I said, you know what, let me look in my video from last year to see um what kind of picks i use or like how how it looks i couldn't remember it and y'all i had so many picks on that freaking tree i was like i don't even need these i'm gonna put them on there anyway though it's just gonna be extra but yeah and i want to get some green uh a few green like this color balls to go on there because that tree is very red um so i want to get a few little green balls to put on there and that's all i'm gonna get I really didn't need these, y'all. I just, I didn't even, I, I can't remember. But I forgot last year I did buy picks for that tree. Um, and this is the tree that I'm, I usually do like the whimsical. It has like cupcakes and peppermint and like candy and stuff on there. So that's the one that's in my dining room. I haven't switched that one up too much in the last couple of, um, couple of years I just keep adding to it um I wanted to get 
an accent color to go with my Christmas tree, my main Christmas tree, because it's very neutral. There's a lot of like golds and like sparkly silver stuff like that. Um, but I couldn't decide on which one I wanted. And then I was, I, I didn't see, I didn't see a color that I loved. So I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if I want to do like blue. Then I saw purple. I thought that was cute. Then I saw burgundy. I thought that was pretty, but they only had like burgundy picks. They didn't have like the burgundy balls. And what else? Yeah, I saw navy. I thought navy would be good. And then I was like, oh, black. But yeah, I I couldn't decide. So that's what I was gonna go to at home to um get some ideas about what I wanted to, you know, the accent color that I wanted to add to the tree. Cause I just want to get like a few little balls just to add like a little pop of color. I don't plan on buying a whole lot of ribbon. I'm not gonna buy a whole lot of like I'm not gonna change the whole tree because that becomes very expensive, especially when you have um the bigger the tree, the more expensive it it gets. And the tree that I have last year is actually bigger than the one that I had before as far as like width. So, yeah, I'm not about to go down that road because we can be, there will be hundreds of dollars and I'm not doing it. Um, yeah, that's it. I have, oh, I also bought the, of course, the chicken pie pie. Y'all already seen it. I just put it in the oven. It has about an hour to cook and it will be ready so by the time the kids get home from getting their haircut the chicken pie pie will be ready and i'm super excited i'm actually gonna go down here and take out one of these trees um the smaller one for my dining room and put it up because one of the lights on it the top is a pre-lit oh my throat it's a pre-lit pre-lit tree but the top portion has stopped working. It literally stopped working like maybe two days after Christmas. And um, I don't know which light is out. So I'm gonna have to find, I think they make a tool where you can go in and test the bulbs to see which light is out. I really do not want to deal with it. But yeah, half of my tree is lit and the other half is not. So yeah um so i don't know what i'm gonna do i might just i don't know i don't know what i'm gonna do uh, if i can't figure out which bulb is out then I'm, i have lights that are already i have lights upstairs that i can use on the tree and then i may have to get rid of it because hmm, i don't want to though but I bought the tree on clearance from Walmart like two days after Christmas, like a week after Christmas. I think I paid maybe $25 on the tree. But I don't want to get rid of it over freaking lights. Like that was my only concern when I bought a pre-lit light last, a pre-lit tree last year was the issue with the lights going out. That's why I've never been a fan of them because like once the lights go out, you like, But yeah, I'm going to try to figure that part out. I just remembered that from last year. Half of that tree doesn't even light up. So I might have to add lights to the tree anyway, which I don't want to do, but whatever. Um, Yeah, so uh, let me go up here and clean my room up from this morning from all of the wardrobe changes that was happening. And... um. I might end the vlog here. If I end the vlog here, thank you so much for clicking on this video. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. This is the end of the vlog. Um, and yeah, I will see y'all.